Good evening and thank you for joining us. It was a day Hawaii and the nation will never forget. One year ago today, the false missile alert exposed our fragile alert system. We're told there has been a significant change, but there is more to be done. Sarah Madison joins us with more. Sarah? Kathy Ova's investigating has learned that the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency is no longer practicing missile drills. Some want the military to take over, but that's still pending. So if a real missile is coming, Haima will be sending that alert. Hawaii only went through 38 minutes of a near-death experience, but we should never, never do that again. One year later, and officials have made drastic changes. We've made it possible to regardless of what the message is, to say, hey, all clear, or there was a mistake in the original message. We know how to do that now. We're practiced at it. And so, you know, there wouldn't be a delay in trying to figure out how to say whoops. There are issues still being addressed, like some cell phones not getting alerts. Hawaii Emergency Management Agency Administrator Tom Travis says it's not under his purview, but explains there's been national testing. The result shows we still have significant problems. The cell phones are a very immediate, but not necessarily a certain way of informing the public. So we need to match it with others. And that's, that's why sirens are important. That's why, that's why uh, uh, emergency broadcast is important. All of those become important so that they can build on each other. I'm confident that we can get the word out to the vast majority. Meanwhile, state legislators who convene Wednesday will have to wait longer for Haima's report on exactly what happened. We don't know what happened to the person, why it was on his computer. We don't know exactly what software now has been changed. So it's an uncertainty. As for the so-called button pusher who received death threats, his attorney, Michael Green, says they never filed a potential lawsuit that dealt with defamation. He wanted people to know his side of the story, and now it looks to me like he is kind of settled in where he is, and he doesn't want to revisit this thing publicly. Here's one change that never happened. There was a health bill that prohibits businesses from denying shelter to any person when an emergency alert says seek shelter, but that never became law. Kathy.